I want to take a moment just to say that a lot of this video is sarcasm. There's definitely some serious points, but a lot of this video is sarcasm. The reason why I feel like I have to speak on this is because every time I bring up any topic of debate, people get really, really angry with me on any side. So take this with a serious note and a more lighthearted comedic note. I don't hate Guardian games by any means. I actually think it's cool that we get to participate in an event, but I am critical of the game as I think everybody should be. Enjoy, guys. Seasonal events, much like a pack of Whoppers, is a short-lived and okay, but not amazing experience. Seasonal events are usually accompanied with a new game mode and a big excuse to rake in some cashola. Seasonal events can leave a good impression where the player is feeling valued for their time, or seasonal events can be Guardian games. Guardian Games was easily the most disliked seasonal event from the Destiny community last year, and it's not hard to see why. There was no new mode added, everything was based around the Eververse, and the big promise ended up looking like this. The big question then is if this falls on Bungie and the need to spice up seasonal events, the player base for being too ambitious in desire, or a little mix of both. So today, we're going to do our best to fix Guardian Games and have a look back on this event as a whole. Lock it in, subscribe since we're so close I can taste 200k, and prepare for another dose of Destiny content when there isn't any left in the season. Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video, as well as music too. Seasonal events are nothing new for games. There's always a few key factors that drive seasonal event success. Is the theme of that seasonal event enough to evoke some sort of nostalgic feeling? Will the holiday event have a new activity to keep players occupied? Is it rewarding? Is there a chase? How many times can the event be successful before it becomes stale? And how much money can the business department rake in for the game? That last question is where the game can either swing its balance in one way or another. I don't think companies should feel bad about making money off their own game, but where you lose me is when the event is just not fun and tedious and everything good is behind a paywall. It makes the player feel like they're being treated like a servant of the game instead of the game being a service to them. A good example of this has become the Festival of the Lost in Destiny 2. Festival of the Lost has all the spectacle of a seasonal event without any of the charm it once had. Nothing has been new in Festival of the Lost for the past three years, and the reward has been virtually the same. But of course, the monetized Eververse sets just keep getting cooler. What was once a mass collectathon with some charm of the hunting in a dark forest has had no innovation to it for some time now. And yeah, it's meant to be a little extra spice on top of the season, but when the immersion of game is broken because all you can think about is spending money on the event, then there is a problem. When players think of a seasonal event, they, um, want to be happy? Nothing wrong with some monetization, but we gotta make the event worthwhile. What do you think, though? Do you enjoy seasonal events in games, or do you think they're just one big cash grab? Drop me a comment. If there was an example of an event in Destiny, at least, that made people happy, it's the dawning. Plenty of materials for players who aren't full-time grinders, some charm in the event being a collectathon, and some actual worthwhile weapons. I'm not going to bring Sparrow Racing League up because I'm pretty sure that's never coming back, but the dawning is something realistic to expand upon the wider game. You see what I'm getting at? The dawning makes me happy to play because I know the quest isn't too tedious and the event is simple. You don't even get a new event. You just make cookies for characters and get weapons worthwhile. Festival of the Lost event is at this point boring to the players and nothing new to the table for loot that is totally forgettable. So, if one is not a lovable experience, and the other is, then what does that say about the main topic of today's video? Let me allow someone to speak on behalf of that. The Guardian Games have come to the tower, a battle between the classes to find out which is the most populated cl I mean, which class is the, it's the best at the game, or, so it's a competition between the classes. Let's talk quickly about how it works. So what is all the hubbub about when it comes to Guardian games? Why is this event the event that needs to change? 
Evan, you just roasted Festival of the Lost, and now we're mad about Guardian games? How dare you have constructive feedback in a fair and given manner? Ah! Guardian games was the replacement to the Revelry event in which players did another Festival of the Lost, killing enemies and bosses over and over again for some loot and armor sets. Bungie swapped the Revelry for it being too similar to the Festival, but would they replace it with something new? Guardian games were advertised with these cool looking sets and the idea that it was class versus class versus class to decide which one would be the best in the game. A big gold statue for the winner, some gold aesthetic for the armor, and surely an event that would make the revelry look silly. The look of the event's aesthetic, a return to Sparrow Racing League? I think many of us were under the assumption that Guardian Games was going to do more than what it did. This is going to be the first class war, Hunters versus Titans versus Warlocks. Who's the best here? And currently right now, Titans have been dominating. And I'm not saying I'm not proud, because I am. I am proud. Titans pulled it together. But the reply that I constantly get on Twitter is, wait a minute, Hunters would be winning had there actually been something there that Hunters wanted. And you know what? I got to agree. Just a f ton of bounties. Hell yeah, baby. There isn't anything too bad with bounties on their own, but when the whole event is centered around them to decide who is the best class, eh, you see the issue there. There was also no actual event added here, just an exotic named Air Apparent to rival the previous year's exotic weapon, Arbalist. This was not exactly a way to prove class dominance. The player base's hopes, due to the lack of the armor sets and color scheme of the event, were definitely leading towards Sparrow Racing League's return or an Olympic Games type of activity. And while I think people get way too excited for something that was never promised, I can't blame the player base for grasping at straws. The Guardian Games makes me think of the Olympics or some kind of party game versus each other. Seeing as how Season of the Worthy was a light season for content, it would have made sense for a new event that was to replace the revelry to spice things up a bit. But as it stood, Guardian Games was just another excuse to grind bounties. Now, from poorly received to controversy spewing out, there was even a debate last year being sparked in the community that there was class cheating and Bungie went on the record saying that they were nerfing Hunter XP gains since they made up more than two thirds of the player population. We are going to be discussing the accusation that the new event currently ongoing within Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy Guardian Games is rigged. I am loving all this arbitrary salt and hate for the Guardian games. What am I talking about? Well, let me show you. What the heck you Snow Way go stupid crayon eating kind can ever win anything ever. You know what I'm saying? Seriously though, it's hilarious how upset people are. They literally said, hey Bungie, we don't believe you. Show me the car facts. And the Bungie's like, yeah, here you go. And people are like, no, rigged. Is this thing rigged? Probably not. Incredibly unlikely not. I know Bungie is attempting to balance things thanks to there being significantly more hunters than titans and warlocks. There is basically no point in Bungie rigging the event from a rewards perspective. All that is at stake is a class item customization option. The exotic isn't even linked to a class winning or anything. In the end, titans ended up winning the whole event and that massive gold statue reward looked like this. Oh, and it was removed later in the year. The Guardian Games statue is gone. What the fuck? Just a weird event. I didn't really care too much about it. Just, huh? The player base really wasn't happy about it. This is now the part of the video where I step into my YouTube lab of ideas and pull such a sophisticated idea out of a hat. Ah, yes, where I aim to propose an occasion so redolent, it will surely make the masses flock to it. Guardian Games just needs to be Guardian Games. Guardian versus Guardian, baby. I was hoping for a bit more than just a bounty grind, as I imagine most people were. I understand that there was probably going to be something like this coming as a way to track which class is doing the most stuff but i was also hoping for some sort of specialty mode or activity that would be class based pitting class against each other 
You can't establish Titan versus Warlock versus Hunter games if there are no games to compete in, and you also can't make it one noted for a random exotic that has almost nothing to do with the event itself. If it were up to me, I would make it so that there was some kind of time trial strikes with bonuses for each class. Maybe Hunters become faster, Titans become stronger, and Warlocks become more ability oriented. Then rotate these benefits on different days. The winning class each day would have a slight negation or bump for winning that day, in a way to balance it out so that other classes had a chance to compete and it wouldn't be too lopsided. The exotic weapon, if there is one, should be something to do with the games themselves. Maybe a hammer, maybe a bow, maybe something that isn't clunky and put there as clear filler. I would also make a PvP mode where it's Hunters versus Titans versus Warlocks. Maybe a 3v3v3 like the old Halo days. Eververse is Eververse, but I can guarantee more people would be willing to spend money on it if it was worth their time to play the event. Bounties would just be a bonus added to the rest of the event, and of course, the tower would be decorated accordingly. Guardian Games, just like many of the things that keep occurring season to season, don't seem to be risky endeavors on Bungie's end. But dangling some exotics in front of us? Oh, that would have been risky. You're talking about the entire community would have imploded. Maybe not initially, but after the fact. Because there'll be some hunter out there or some titan or warlock that's putting in 20 hour days to possibly win to get their favorite exotic and then they come up short you bet your ass they would hit the forums they would hit reddit twitter everywhere talking about how this game is not fair and that they deserve their rewards at the same time i think many of us would have enjoyed the competition as of right now guardian games no one's really partaking in it outside of getting the exotic air apparent pretty much once you get that that's all anyone cares about or at least that's all i cared about which is a shame this was the first time that bungie actually went on a ledge to pick class versus class and it simply fell short because the rewards didn't match the competitive nature of it so it's not all about just raining loot it's not all about just giving everybody a god roll it really is it's about dangling something in front of us that truly intrigues us these are the kind of risks that bungie has got to take for events going forward especially events like this considering that nothing really took us out of the core playlist we were still very much playing the same thing we already play week to week there had to been something else spicier there to motivate us more than just a gold medal all of those in tandem would make guardian games a much bigger success and would have me looking forward to participating but that one is on you luke smith wait he doesn't work on this anymore that one is up to you joe garoth I have a Twitch and second channel for all the best Twitch content. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Second channel, second channel, second channel. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you, bloopers. Hmm. This event sucks. This event is pushing me. This event is, I'm at my breaking point of this game because of this event. Not not a not a breaking point to completely quit. Just a breaking point like like I'm like I, I don't know like like I just want to stop playing and take a break or whatever. like Nope. Hell no. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is this is a lie. Bungie is rigging. They are rigging the hell out of, out of these, out of this, out of this. This is a lie. God, man, Destiny makes me feel a certain kind of way. Destiny, not even, not even a Warframe makes me this upset. And Warframe arguably is going down a steeper, like, slope right now. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll upload this one, whatever. Um,